here is a new subject that is MSF and let's see the unit 1 in this unit 1 we have the topics like greatest to common divisors and prime factorization and the second topic is congruences so first let's discuss about the greatest to common divisors and the prime factorization then we go with the congruences so for the in introduction we have the two important definitions like prime numbers and the composite numbers so prime numbers a prime is a positive integer greater than 1 that is divisible by only positive integers other than 1 and itself so the these are the positive integers and which is greater than 1 it means the 1 does not comes under the prime numbers and these are divisible by only positive integers and itself by the 1 and itself uh, let's take the example of prime numbers like we have 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 31 37 41 43 47 53 59 61 67 71 73 79 83 89 97 which are the prime numbers and it goes on continue so these are the numbers which are divisible by itself one and itself these are the prime numbers and the composite numbers a positive integer which is not a prime number and which is not equals to 1 is called as the composite numbers. So we have seen the prime numbers here and here it does not include the number 1 and the composite numbers are the numbers which are not a prime numbers. So the, the, the leftover numbers in this are 1 and 4 and 6, 8, 9, 10 and so on. So here the, it does not include the 1. So other than 1 the remaining numbers which uh, which are not prime numbers are called as the composite number. So this is about the prime numbers and the composite numbers. Here is the greatest to common divisor that is GCD. GCD of two integers A and B that are not both 0. So the, both the numbers A and B are not 0. And it is the largest integers which divides both a and b so the integer which dividing a and b and which is the largest one so that is called as the gcd of the given two integers so note the gcd a and b is written as gcd of a and b is written as gcd of a comma b and gcd of a comma b is equals to gcd of b comma a so it can be written in a small way uh, small letters or it can be written in the capital letters when you find the GCD of A comma B, that is same as the uh, finding GCD of B comma A. And then GCD of A comma B is equals to GCD of mod A comma mod B. So if it is taken in the minus, then we take the modulus of that and both GCDs will be equal. Then GCD of negative in integers, that is minus A comma minus B, that gives us the GCD of mod minus A comma mod minus B. So when we take the modulus, the negative value becomes the positive. So that can be written as GCD of A comma B. So finding GCD of minus A comma minus B is same as finding GCD of A comma B. And then GCD of 0 comma A is equals to the value A. Well, let's find the some of the uh, problems here. So first one, find GCD of 24 comma 36. So we have the two methods of solving the GCD problems. Uh, first method is uh, we find the divisors of each uh, integers. Uh, first uh, divisors of 24. So the divisors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. And the divisors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18 and 36. So these are the uh, divisors of 24 and 36. Now we have to find out the GCD of 24 comma 36 and that is uh, is equals to 12. So we know that GCD nothing but the greatest common divisors. So among all these divisors uh, the sum terms uh, integers are equal here. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 and 12. So these are equal. But among these uh, integers the 12 is the highest one i mean i mean it is the greatest one so that is gcd of 24 and 36 comes as the 12 
or the second method is we do the division of uh, 24 div uh, 36 divided by 24 so here 24 is the divisor and the 36 is the dividend so 20 uh, 36 divided by 24 so 24 ones are 24 and the 36 minus 24 is 12 so again this uh, the divisor 24 is taken as the dividend now this 24 is div uh, div uh, divisor divided with the number the remainder 12 so we get it as 12 into 2 is equals to 24 so we got the remainder as 0 so once we get the remainder as 0 the divisor will be equal to the gcd of the given number so here the divisor of 24 is 12 so therefore the gcd of 24 comma 36 is equals to 12 so this process is continued until we get the remainder as 0 let's see some other problems on this method the second one find gcd of 12 comma 15 so the 15 is uh, divided by 12 now here i'm not using the first method so finding divisors of each of the integers it takes lot of time so i choose the second method the 15 is divided by 12 and 12 ones are 12 15 minus 12 is 3 so now this is a remainder for this and now this is taken as the divisor and uh, 12 uh, is the dividend so 12 is divided by 3 and 3 into 4 is equals to 12 and 12 minus 2 is 0 so we stop the procedure here because we got the remainder as 0 and to this the divisor is 3 so the 3 is the gcd of 12 comma 15 so gcd of 12 comma 15 is equals to 3 and the third one find gcd of 15 comma 35 so 35 is divided with 15 so 15 of 35 15 into 2 is 30 and 35 minus 30 is 5 and it is uh, 15 is divided with 5 so we get 15 into 3 15 and 15 minus 15 is equal 5 into 3 is 15 and 15 minus 15 is equals to 0 so we stop the procedure here and the divisor comes as the gcd of the given numbers so therefore gcd of 15 comma 35 is equals to 5 and here are the sum of the questions find the gcd of each of the following set of integers until now we have seen the gcd of two integers now we shall see the gcd of three integers the first problem is given as 8 10 and 12 so we had to find out the gcd of 8 10 and 12 the first method we know we will take the divisors of each of the integer and among that which is the longest divisor uh, grotesque divisor that will be the gcd of the given name so eight divisors are 1 2 4 6 and 10 divisors are 1 2 5 10 and 12 divisors are 1 2 3 4 6 12 so 1 is common and 2 is common 4 is not common and uh, 6 we don't have in this or uh, 6 is also there but there is no 6 in the divisors of 10 so uh, if you check all these three integers the 2 is the highest one so the gcd of 8 10 12 comes as the 2 so this is the first method of finding the gcd of given integers let's see the second method so here 10 is divided by 8 8 ones are 8 and 10 minus 8 is 2 so the remainder of this is 2 and now this 8 is divided with 2 then we get 2 into 4 is 8 and 8 minus 8 is 0 so we got the remainder as 0 and the divisor of this is 2 so therefore uh, the gcd is 2 for 8 comma 10 the gcd of 8 comma 10 comma 12 that is equals to gcd of 8 comma 10 comma 12 so first we'll find out the gcd of 8 comma 10 so when we find out the gcd of 8 comma 10 we got it as 2 now we substitute in this equation when we substitute in this equation then we get gcd of the gcd of 8 comma 10 we got it as 2 and we get now this is gcd of 2 comma 12 now we have to find out the gcd of 2 and 12 then when we find we get 2 uh, 12 divided by 2 so we get 2 of 12 that is 2 into 6 is equals to 12 now the remainder we got it as 0 so the gcd of 2 comma 12 is 2 
therefore gcd of 2 comma 12 is equals to 2 and therefore the gcd of 8 comma 10 comma 12 also will be 2 so in this way we find out the gcd of 3 integers let's see the another example with 3 integers that is 15 21 35 now we have to find out the gcd of 15 21 35 then the that is that can be written as gcd of 15 comma 21 comma 35 now first we have to find out the gcd of 59 21 so that is find gcd of 15 comma 21 so that is 21 is divided by 15 15 ones are 15 and the uh, remainder that is 21 minus 15 is 6 so this is the remainder now this 15 is divided with 6 so 6 into 12 2 uh, 6 into 2 is 12 and 15 minus 12 is 3 now this 6 is divided with respect to 3 then we get 3 into 2 is 6 and 6 minus 6 is 0 now the gcd of 15 comma 12 that is we got it as 3 now we have to substitute this in the equation 1 so when we substitute the gcd of 15 comma 2 uh, 21 comma 35 that equals to gcd of 3 comma 35 now the 15 comma 35 gcd we got it as 3 now we have to find out the gcd of 3 comma 35 so that is we get it as 35 is divided with bar is divided by 3 and then 3 into 11 is 33 and the remainder comes as 2 now this 3 is divided with 2 then 2 into 1 is 2 and 3 minus 2 is 1 now again this 2 is divided with respect to 1 so we get 1 into 2 is 2 now the remainder we got it as 0 so the gcd of 3 comma uh, 3 comma 35 is 1 this gcd of 3 comma 35 is equals to 1 and therefore the gcd of 15 comma 21 comma 35 is equals to 1 and here is a uh, third one that is gcd of 0 comma 0 comma 1001 uh, so we know that every positive integer is a divisor of 0 so we know that uh, in the formulas we have seen gcd of 0 comma a is equals to a so here also similarly gcd of 0 comma 0 comma a is equals to 0 comma uh, that is equals to a therefore the gcd of 0 comma 0 comma 1001 is equals to 1001 this is also the same gcd of 0 comma 0 comma 111 that comes as the 111 as the gcd and then fifth one gcd of minus 12 comma 18 so with the formula we have we know that gcd of minus a comma minus b can be written as gcd of mod of minus a comma mod of minus b and that is equals to gcd of a comma b so here the minus can be written as plus so uh, by similarly we get the gcd of minus 12 comma 18 can be written as gcd of mod minus 12 comma 18 now this modulus of minus 12 becomes as the positive so that is gcd of 12 comma 18 and that is gcd of finding uh, finding gcd of minus 12 comma 18 is same as the finding gcd of 12 comma 18 so the we have to find out the gcd of 12 comma 18 now this 18 is divided by 12 so 12 into 1 is 12 and 18 minus 12 is 6 again the now this 12 is divided with respect to 6 then we get 6 into 2 is 12 and the remainder comes as 0 now the divisor divisor will be the gcd of the given question therefore the gcd of minus 12 comma 18 is equals to 6 and the negative with the negative integers and with the three integers that is gcd of minus 7 comma 28 comma minus 35 so by using the same concept gcd of minus 7 comma 28 comma minus 35 can be written as gcd of 7 comma 28 comma 35 so all post negative also can be taken uh, into the positive let this be as equation number one now first we have to find out the gcd of 7 comma 28 so find gcd of 7 comma 28 so 28 is divided with respect with uh, 7 that we get it as 7 to 4 is 28 and the remainder comes as 0 
Now this 7 is the GCD of 7 comma 28. Now GCD of those two numbers we got it as 7. Now GCD of 7 comma 35 that is uh, 35 is divided with uh, 7 then we get 7 into 5 is 35 and the remainder comes as 0. Therefore the GCD of 7 comma 35 is equals to 7. Therefore the GCD of minus 7 comma 28 comma 35 is equals to 7. So in this way we find out the GCD of two numbers and the negative integers and the three numbers.